Welcome back, Canna friends. Another Monday live at Canna Baloo's. So this week I'm going to talk about how to infuse your coconut oil. This is going to be one of the best steps for right after you decarb that bud. You can make butters, you can make oils. THC seems to really like to stick to fats, so I highly advise using my favorites, like I said, coconut and olive oil. I know some people who use avocado oil, grapeseed oil. There's a lot of things you can do with this here. I try to avoid butter because it is just not great for you, but I, uh, I think that the coconut oil can be super versatile too. Like yesterday I made these white chocolate covered pretzels that are to die for. They are so tasty and that all just starts with a simple crock pot. Everybody's got that at home. I want to make this as simple as it can be for you. I really love to use my butter maker because it just makes the whole process foolproof um, and it's got a couple of buttons you press and then it's done and I think these are actually on sale right now for $1.20 on Amazon hey Laura what's up girl um, and but everybody's got a crock pot so I was like let me just walk everyone through how to do it the good old 2010 way <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I would really like you guys to weigh your cannabis before you start all of this because you're gonna be able to figure out your milligrams for dosing later you kind of have to guess as far as THC percentage goes if you're not getting it from a dispensary, um, but it's going to make the process a little safer for you so you're not eating edibles that are just out of this world. I think for new users, 10 milligrams is just perfect. Um, my edibles on the other end <laughs> tend to run about 50 to 100 milligrams, and that's because they are for sweet sleep at night. So take your decarbed bud from last week if you didn't see the video. Pop over and watch decarving with Cannibaloos. See that? <laughs> so I really like to wrap my bud in cheesecloth. It makes it so much easier when you're trying to strain this out of the oil. I like to line my crock pot with one of those crock pot bags because when you're done, you can take the whole thing out and stop the heating process whenever you want to. It just makes it a little easier. So take your decarbed cannabis, put it in your cheesecloth. And then just make sure it is balled up to where it's not going to fall out into your oil because then that kind of defeats the purpose. Now I would say I usually do about a half ounce to an ounce of cannabis per cup of oil, but I think that's really going to depend on the strength of edibles that you're wanting. So like I said, ball that up into a nice little, look at that, perfect. So <laughs> you're just going to literally toss that into your crock pot with your, I melt the coconut oil before I just put it in there. It's a lot easier to get out of the bottle than you're not wasting any. Just pour that right in over it. Try to make sure that your THC or CBD whoops, <laughs> is fully submerged in the oil so that you're getting all of that good stuff out of there. So then you're just going to put this on low. I do for four hours and that is it. Pop the lid on there and that's all you need for cannabis infused coconut oil. Now, whenever this is done, you're going to want to take out your little cheesecloth mess and squeeze that so it's straining out all of the rest of the butter or the oil that's left within your material. And that's it, guys. That is cannabis coconut oil. This works the same with all oils. With butters, your temperature and time is going to be a little bit different. Um, with something like a butter maker, you can kind of see on the top here, you've got oils, butters, tinctures. You can do it all in that. I am... An edible fan guys I think it is so much easier to dose yourself appropriately now I know that oils and sublinguals work for different people but this right here is new age for me <laughs> so um, if you guys do not have medical cards yet I don't know if you know that we do certifications here out of the store Monday through Friday 11 to 3 through Elevate Holistics and we certified eight people last week guys that is incredible so we're getting one step closer um, Dispensary licenses come out on Friday, y'all. I am internalizing a lot of things right now. There's a lot going on. So we are just staying occupied, getting people certified, making sure that we all know the laws, the regulations, and making sure we're ready for those doors to open. We're ready for good cannabis. I know we all are. So let's get growing at home. Home grow is the only way to really bide our time until then. So your finished product, whenever this is after your four hours, 
Look at that. Gorgeous. Let's do like a, a makeup tutorial. Oh, Ooh, sis, look. <laughs> so um, this one is going to be THC oil. This one is your CBD oil. Um, now, guys, I, I really like the Simply Nature from Aldi. It is really inexpensive. Good stuff. Highly recommend. So let me know if you need any help. It is the simplest way to do it. And there's all kinds of good things that can come from cannabis coconut oil, guys. Not just sweets. Look at that savory. Check out that salmon from yesterday on Cannabaloos. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And we will see you next Monday. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>